Go crazy then. It's your boy Dre. Coming at you with my first video. Shoe review for my very first video. Introduce myself. It's the go crazies. You know, I already know. Put the go crazy in the section below on the comment box. Go ahead, like, subscribe. Go ahead and get into the shoe review. Starting out with first, first one. Red lipstick 14s. Now the 14s are my personal favorite uh, silhouette of the Jordan uh, brand. So this definitely one that I was waiting to get for a while. It came, it comes out in a woman's only. So, you know, I have to go ahead and get that size 12 on there. Let me show y'all barcodes, you know. Premium, mean, pristine, it's real. You know what I'm talking about? I got that red Jordan. That red Jordan paper, it's a nice little blush touch to it. And it comes wrapped in that, and it also comes wrapped in this other stuff inside of here. That's them right there. It's that nice suede black. It's just beautiful, man. In the back with the tire track. With the nice firm griffiness of it. These are some bad boys. These are probably my favorite Jordan 14 so far. Start off, you got some nice, nice suede in that midsection right there with the logo. You know, got the Ferrari logo. Because these shoes are supposed to emulate that of a Ferrari. Um, each one's obviously got its different spin and different twist on it. But that's supposed to be like the look for it. And you look down at this, um, the middle bottom of the sole, you got that nice black with the speckle on it, with the white speckle. And that speckle does circulate everywhere, including the shark teeth on there. The only thing it does not include is the inside shanks that you see on the outside and that toe uh, outer. But then when you go to the bottom of the shoe, you have that very, very nice herringbone the herringbone, it looks sexy. The performance of it's great because you can put these shoes on and ball and the, the tractions would be nice. And obviously with the nice uh, number 14 and the uh, Roman numeral numbers with the red Jordan jump man in the middle. You got the silver shank plate in the middle to carry your uh, arch and your foot right there. The air compressed um, uh, socket right there. The, the bottoms is real nice. I really I fall in love with the 14s bottoms all the time. They got the nice slice fours in there with the shark teeth. And then like I said, that Jordan emblem is nice. Like I said you have the nice suede and this suede material so linny. Like they look like had a lot of lint on theirs. But when I got mines in, when you look at this pair, as you see, it's not linty at all. There's not much lint on it. Like I didn't have to lint roll at all. I know with this pair, you have that little like crusting right there where you can see a little bit of the underlying, but it's not white, it's black. So when you look at the rest of the shoe, like I said, this is the other shoe. There's no lint on any of mine. Mine came in very, very clean. I love what they did with it. I love all the cuts inside the suede. The stitching is just, to the top um actually we'll go ahead and jump to that back like i was hitting on earlier like i said it's a ferrari imitation of a shoe so you got your uh tail lights right here and that's a little red if you can see them i get a little closer for y'all and then you have that lining right there supposed to be like a uh tire thread tread or some something like that and it's supposed to line up all the way down and it's supposed to show that jordan right there you can see that and on the highs like the normal version of the 14s they actually came with that jordan logo just like this and then it also had the 23 above it but since it is a low they just shorted it up just make it jordan on the back now when we go up to the top here you got a nice red velvety look up top it's you know normal cotton cloth type of material jordan on the top of the tongue with the XIV for the 14. And when you feel on the little like plate that's in here, I know back in the day they would have like the actual metal ones inside of these. So it'd be a lot, lot more like sturdy, a lot more, it'll last longer, I should say about that. Um, 
this shoe silhouette is honestly my favorite but it's the red lipstick you know in the middle one thing i do like is how they made it suede red on the inside if you rip down the string shoe strings and you were to look at that and feel that it's the same exact consistency as the outer right here for the toe as well as the mid. it says it retail for 170. it is a women's shoe so understandable retailing for 170. um i got them in a size 12 because it i like 14 on ice i got these about a month ago i don't know what y'all think about these Size 14 or size 12 for the 14. Only thing I ever say about 14s that I dislike is if you hoop in these, if you wear these, that pinky toe is going to suffer in these. So it's like no pain, no gain. Right? That's the red lipstick 14. How y'all feel about it? Let me know in the comments. Go crazy. That, that lightning. Now, as you can see, as I move it around, I hope you can see this on the camera when it records this. You get that nice reflectiveness, so it reflects everything that's light off of it, and it goes all the way around like that. Take a picture, you have a flash on when you record, it reflects a three. There are these 10 and a half, my size. Yeah, I know what it is. On the inside with the paper. I hope y'all can see that. And it's like really faint to see on this paper. But they got those little scientific molecules or I don't know. I was never good at science. I'm a I'm an accountant. <laughs> I was good at math. Five lab threes. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you. I know a lot of people are going to be asking me, and a lot of people are going to say, well, why are you reviewing a shoe that came out in, I think, 2014, was it? Well, my reasoning behind this is, with this shoe is, it was so cheap. <laughs> I paid 170 for these. I was, I was blown away. So, if you look for the bottoms, you got that nice, clear work right there. Got that nice clear work. Got the Jordan under there. Jordan right along the heel, all the way to the arch. And then when you go up to the to the mid on these, you get that nice white lining right there in between with the air unit. And when you go up, you get that nice finish down all threes. Since you have not maybe in black, but they have a finish right around here that does wrap all the way around the rear to the other side of that thing. You know what I'm talking about? Around here, when you look at the elephant print, now it's a little hard to see. Like I said, I'll record some videos and post some stuff on here. A flash look at them but if you take a look at that and just look at how smooth and how great that elephant print looks on there when you go around to the bag it has that same exact effect all the way around it's really nice i like it like i said when you turn the flash on it's good it looks really even nicer so it just feels it has a weird feeling a real weird touch to it um like i said that's that it's not 3m but it's reflective and then they also have that in the fly knitting out here um when you get up to the top it has a little mesh boss up here around the lining of it but on the inside it has like a leather a white leather and on the inside you can see that it's got the same emblem for the reflectives <laughs> for the shoe um and then up top you got your Jordan Jumpman embossed. You got that same embossed look on there with the Jordan Air. I think it was a good job. I think it was a well-made shoe. Like I said, I know a lot of people are going to end up look, looking at this video and be like, why is he 
doing a review on a Jordan for a Jordan that came out in 2014. Uh, truthfully, just because it, this was a steal, and I'm not a big force that three ten. Like I, I like the varsity red, the varsity royal blue threes, the Georgetown threes, the cool gray threes. And after that, I don't like any other ones, like the Cardinal threes, the Fire Red threes. I could care less about the Racer uh, Blue threes. I can care less about them. I'm planning to find a way to get the all black versions of these. If you follow the Lab series, there is a black version of these and it's suede reflective. So I want to get those so I can match them together. One thing as a sneaker head from me that I try to stray away from is going after the shoes that everyone's going after right now like the citrus sevens that just came out the fire red threes that just dropped i try to stay away from all that you know i try to keep my lane in a exclusive i just like having things that other people don't have when i'm walking down the street people are like oh what are those like because they really don't know what these are like these people see me wear these they don't be like when did these drop in what are these these days really don't don't see shoes like these like the Lab Series or the Fusion Series, or there was, back in the day, we had a lot of series that come out, and I'm glad I was able to get my hands on these. I don't believe some of the shoes that drop are worth what they're costing. $200, $225 for some Citrus 7s. I'm sorry, that's that's not something that, some retro Citrus 7s, that's not something that I was really interested in. Um, that's when I got the 14s. Um, everybody got the fire red threes. I got the five lab threes, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I do. I try to see what is coming out now and then just try to get something else. I have a lot of ones mostly. That's what I'm wearing right now. I mean, <laughs> you can see there's some I got. This is a beater. I'm on crutches right now. So these is beaters. What I got on me now, some beaters, you know, some beaters. Cause I'm buying shoes like two, three times a month now. Compared to last year, I was buying shoes like once every month, maybe. <laughs> now it's like two, three times a month, so. Hey, nigga, like and subscribe. And pass the blunt. Yeah. Like and subscribe, nigga.